Before we get into this video, we have a new project we want to tell you about. It's been years in the making, conceived while we were through hiking the Appalachian Trail. If you're watching this video, you probably enjoy real life adventure stories, reading them, following them, maybe even writing your own. The project is called Out Sideways. Out Sideways is an adventure journaling platform for outdoor enthusiasts to share their adventures with family, friends, and the world. So whether you are into hiking or backpacking, canoeing, skiing, snowboarding, cycling, pack rafting, whether you are out for the afternoon, the day or the weekend, or maybe you're out for a week or months long adventure. Out Sideways is the place to share the stories and share your pictures of your adventures. So hey guys, so what's gonna ha what do you, what what special thing is happening today? Anybody know? Hiking's the biggest mountain we've hiked so far. And there's actually something else that's pretty cool that's happening too. Crossing the border. Oh, yeah. What border? Where are we going? From where to where? North Carolina, is it? Yeah, we're going from we're right. Where are we now? Georgia to North Carolina. Georgia to North Carolina, and that's just about just over two miles from here. I think it's like an hour. So in an hour, after we've packed up, we will be crossing into North Carolina, our first state line. Only 13 more to go. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> One side says NC. Keep moving. Keep going. Your brother's going behind you. Keep going. Now you're in NC. You're in North Carolina. And here we are. Oops. We are at the North Carolina Georgia border. Our first state is done. the people you meet. I am walking behind what appears to be a rare sighting of the trail otter. Let's see if we can get a little closer and ask for an interview. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yes? Excuse me. Um, are you the famous trail otter? From the great not, Canada's great north? Maybe not famous. Yes, I am hot. Wow, I've been so wanting to meet you. 
been a lot. How are you doing? Good. Good? Yeah, pretty good. It's and a really beautiful trail. It's a really beautiful trail. Mm -hmm. And what has been your favorite part of the hike so far? Meeting all the people, mostly. Meeting all the people. Yeah. Cool. So who are some of the people you've met? Okay, let's see. There's Brave. She's this lady who's going here for two weeks. And just got red hair. Then there's Viking, Trail Lobster. Uh, can't remember most other people. Uh, yeah, there's lots of people. And it's really fun. Cool. Well, you are the extrovert in the family and you are motivated by meeting new people. Hence, this is why you are at the front setting a blistering pace for us <laughs> so that we can get to the next stop where we can find more people. Yeah! Yeah! The fun loving otter that you are. I enjoy meeting people. I love meeting people along the way. I like, I also like seeing, there's kind of this, we're in a little bit of a group that um, we see people frequently. So I like that, see, pe seeing people again, it's like meeting friends on the trail. I also really love sleeping in the tent. I love my sleeping bag. I love the end of the day when all the work has been done and you can just stretch out in your sleeping bag and stretch out your legs and I love that feeling. It's it's like almost luxurious, except unless you're on like some kind of slant, which we almost always are. <laughs> and then we're like rolling down or rolling over, but still, I'm, one of my favorite things is being in my sleeping bag. Okay, well that's not much different than at home. Oh yeah, no, I know, exactly. Like <laughs> I love going to bed. It's, it's very comforting to me. So, this is the longest backpacking trip you've ever been on. What do you think so far? I don't know. Um, so far it's been pretty fun. We've been out for almost two weeks. So and but, yeah. how did you how did you feel this morning? Uh, I didn't want to walk. No. No. Why not? I don't know. I think I was tired because I'm tired right now. You're tired right now? I'm kind of tired. It's a beautiful day, but I feel a little tired. So I'm just so thankful it's a beautiful day because I don't, I just have to walk. Mostly I just feel kind of tired today. Is there anything you're looking forward to? Yes. What? I'm looking forward to tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? We are going to Winding Staircase Gap, where we're going to um, get a resupply and go to someone's house. Uh huh. And so, why are you excited about that? Um, well, we're going into town, and I mean, we'll have internet to do things, and they'll be just we'll be able to relax and maybe sleep in their real bed. Oh, we're gonna see more people. Well, I like town stops. And what is it about the town stops that you're looking most forward to? Internet. Internet, <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do when and you get on the internet? Plugins, <laughs> power. And my internet device. Yeah. No, it's in power. No, it's in power. What about the internet? Your sister's very excited about the internet. Are you yeah. as excited? I'm pretty excited. Yeah, pretty excited about that. Because, like, I can go on THH. What's THH? It's, uh, it's called, well, it's actually Teen Homeschool Hang, where a bunch of teenagers get together and, like, play games and talk to each other and, yeah. And do teenager things. Yeah. Cool. Like, giggle. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, well, not too many teenagers out here yet. No. I mean, we've seen a couple on like spring break. Yeah, that's true. But. We're on day four of our food, and I'm I'm done with trail mix. 
<laughs> but I can't be done with trail mix because that's that's mostly what we eat during the day. I'm ready for some real food. Food? That doesn't factor in? Internet's more important than food? <laughs> Foods! Foods are cool. Foods are cool too. Home cooked food? Home cooked food? What about like pizza or ice cream or something? Oh, like? well, yeah. Basically stuff other than trail. Yeah, <laughs> stuff other than trail food. There might be pizza, but I don't know what will be theirs, but there's going to be something. Look at this We're probably going to have some food, like... Well, we probably will have food, yeah. Yeah, like fun food. I mean, like... I mean, like what food. could be funner than <laughs> Gorp with all kinds of crazy candy in it? Yeah, I know, but I mean, like pizza and stuff and burgers. Would you say was the single most difficult thing you've had to deal with so far? Um, the cold rain. The cold rain? What about Brienne sleeping? That was hard too, when she was waking up disorientated for the first week um, in the tent and then in the shelter. That was hard because we were sleeping with other people. I think really though, the cold, wet, I hate cold, wet, miserable weather being out in it. So that was not pleasant. Um, and then, yeah, having my sleep disturbed that way. Holy! The shoulder straps in my backpack rubbing. Ah, uh, yes, you've had some abrasion yeah. on your shoulders. That was especially bad the second day. But we've managed to mostly resolve that. Yeah. My pack is heavy mm -hmm. because, well, I have a, with my, um, case, and all my iPad weighs two pounds. Yeah. So that's a really heavy part of my backpack. Yeah. And I don't use it that much, but um, it's a really hard thing because I kind of want to get rid of it, but I kind of don't. I want to get rid of it because it's so heavy, but um, I use it sometimes, but not very often. So I don't know. So one of the issues that we've been having is that Brienne has been quite tired for the last couple days on the trail. And there's a number of things involved in that. Um, part of it is that, um, you know, the kids want to be out around the fire or in the evening socializing because it's a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, and sometimes the occasional marshmallow even. And um, so she's not probably, you know, she's not getting to bed as early as she should be. And that's kind of our fault as the parents. We should be making her go to bed a little bit earlier. So we're going to be working on that. But the other thing is that um, she is, you know, she is carrying an iPad that weighs quite a bit with, with the waterproof case. And it's something that she really wanted to bring. Um, but, you know, we're kind of debating that and trying to encourage her to make the decision to send that home because... Uh, you know, there's other ways around that. There's a couple other, well, the rest of us have iPads as well, so she could share with somebody. And she has her journal, and she writes a lot in that, so I think we, you know, we'll come to a compromise that can maybe save her a couple pounds of weight in her pack, which I think will be very welcome. One of my favorite things about the trail is that every time you have any kind of view, which is quite often, because we can see through the trees because it's spring and the foliage isn't out yet, you always see mountains. So there's always like these ridges of mountains in the distance and they get kind of hazy as they go and I love it. I love seeing the mountains everywhere you look. Okay, so here we are on the peak of Albert Mountain in North Carolina. And I think you should... we're going up the fire tower. <clears throat> Okay. But 
we can still get views from the stairs. Um, yeah. So today is uh, day 12 of our AT through hiking trek and we are going to be doing our longest day yet. We're planning on doing 12 miles. We've been gradually easing ourselves into higher mileage days and a lot of what um, goes into having a high mileage day is, you know, having a consistent pace but also just streamlining the, um, you know, streamlining your systems for when you get up in the morning, how long it takes to uh, make breakfast, take down camp, get everybody organized. All those things contribute to <clears throat> increasing mileage. So um, while we are working on slowly increasing our pace, we're also working on just making our systems for um, for trail living uh, more efficient so that we have more time for for being on the trail uh, we also have the benefit of um, you know the sunset being at eight o'clock so that means that uh, we have we can roll into camp later if we want if we want to make dinner on the trail um, in the late afternoon and then you know get a few more miles in before uh, we set up a tent and turn in for the night, we can do that as well. We did our second resupply a couple days ago. Actually, yeah, like yesterday morning and the day before that. So we had our second re-entry, we call it, yesterday. And it was easier than our first re-entry, which was good. It's always, I shouldn't say always, we haven't done it enough, but coming out of civilization and fast-paced activity, especially when we're off the trail, we have a lot to do between grocery shopping, um, our internet work, doing laundry. It's just really fast-paced. It's pretty hectic. It's always a little, it feels a little, uh, there's an adjustment period there. So. Yesterday's adjustment was easier than our first uh, re-entry, so that was good. Part of that is the weather has been really nice. 
and uh, when we came into camp last night, our friends were there, and these people are starting, you No, know, we see them quite often, we were kind of in this hiking group that we're a regular part of, they're all kind of young guys, they hike faster than us, but they camp generally at the same spots as we do, and they're just fun, they're fun to be with, and so it was really nice to see them last night, and to get back on the trail and the kids were really psyched about being at camp with these guys and that that really helped because coming out of town where you've got access to you know internet and you can play video games with friends and you play we've been staying with families that have kids and so they're playing with kids coming out of that and carrying a heavy pack getting back into the woods can be you know a little bit of a hard adjustment but this one has been pretty good and today we had trail magic right at lunchtime at the top of, um, of a peak that you know cars could drive up because it's quiet way at ball why um why a ball <laughs> why a why a ball i don't know if i'm saying that right and so cars can drive up and as i was walking up and it was it was hard going it's sunny and you know, our packs are pretty heavy still with all of our food. As I was walking up, I was saying, this would be the perfect place for trail magic because cars can drive up. They can, you know, bring stuff easily. And Damien said, well, you know, don't, you know, you don't want to get anybody's hopes up talking like that way. And that wasn't my intention. I was just saying, this would be a great spot. Well, we get to the top and sure enough, there's two former through hikers who were doing trail magic. And they had been barbecuing burgers. We got there a little bit too late for that. Sprite and freckles. Yes, right, Sprite and freckles. They through hiked in 2008. And they had brought cold drinks and- And candy. And, and candy, was <laughs> pretty pleased about that. And again, we were hanging out with all of our friends. It's so, it's been a really good day. Um, it's sunny. We've got a few miles left, just a few miles left to camp. And we're um, all pretty happy to be out here. So, um, what was it? The first week we, uh, the first week that we were on the trail, um, I think we mentioned earlier that we were, had some, we had some, uh, had some rain one night and, um, the tent we were in, uh, uh Laura and I, we have two tents. We have a boy's tent and a girl's tent and the boy's tent was not seam sealed very well. It's a tent I was borrowing from a friend of mine while I was waiting for another tent that I had ordered to um, be ready because uh, it, it was uh, made by a cottage manufacturer and it took a couple weeks to, you know, for them to make it and be able to send it to us. So in the meantime, I was borrowing a tent from a friend of mine and uh, the, it poured that night. And so we got water in the tent. And so as a result, all five of us had to squeeze in our three man tent and it was a cozy one but uh thankfully we really haven't had to deal with any other rain other than that night um and so when we did our resupply that uh, renee was just talking about one of the things that arrived was our new tent so we just had our first uh night in the tent last night it's actually a tarp um with a bug net 